everyone, this is Rachel and I'm here with another process video. Now I had already started on this layout by using some texture paste and a Heidi Swap stencil with some quatrefoils on it. Unfortunately, I did re I remember to tape it and then I accidentally deleted it when I was deleting another video. So I apologize for that. But I just took some texture paste along with the stencil and went ahead and did it right in the corner where I knew my photos were going to go. Now, I will mention I probably should not have used this stencil with the texture paste. It's a very thin stencil and it did not work well. It was very messy, but I was really just looking for a light matte as opposed to something that you know needed to be very heavy, so it didn't work out too, too bad. So I'm working with papers from Chamel's True Storyline, and I have that polka dot paper that I cut, not in half, but just over half, under half, and I'm going to use both sides of that little scrap of paper I had. And now I'm working with the ones that have the three by four, four by four cut aparts on one side, and I liked certain ones, so I was trying to make sure to only cut out the ones that I didn't I didn't hate any of them, but the ones I wasn't going to use especially. So I'm going to go ahead and do these layers right here. And I like the way that looks. So unfortunately, yeah, I like the way it looks once it's not crooked. So I'm liking the way that looks. So I go and get some foam tape. I love working with texture paste, but one thing about it is it does not work with my ATG stuff. And yeah, here's, here's where Rachel did not grab enough foam tape and didn't feel like walking across the room and getting more foam tape so she just used her Stampin' Up Dimensionals instead and said you know oh well I don't like using the Stampin' Up Dimensionals because they're like on the pricey side so you know I don't like using that many of them but my laziness won in that battle <laughs> so now I know I have quite a bit of journaling to do so I'm looking to see if any of those cut aparts would do for journaling but I didn't particularly care for it so I decided to go and I, I'm going to go look in my die cut bin, but I'm going to continue with the layout. This is the Riley sticker sheet for, not for, from Bella Boulevard. I only bought the sticker sheet. I didn't buy any of the themed papers. I just bought some of the stickers and that one says, let's just stay in today, which I thought was cute because in both pictures she's, she's lounging. So as I mentioned in a previous layout, if you are a subscriber of mine and you watched, don't do that. Um, sorry, <laughs> I'm talking to an animal. Uh, we got a new cat and her name is Xanthi. So this is my first layout about her and about the story about how we got her. And so I'm spelling out the word Xanthi, and that's how you spell it, with the, I think they're doll from American Craft Stickers. And then I have this puffy sticker, Alphas from Freckled Fawn, and I'm spelling out the word hello with that. And when I put it up against my background paper, I realized it was not going to st stick out enough. So I grabbed this remnant I had also from the True Stories line and of the navy polka dot, and I decided to put it on that, and I'm just going to cut a fishtail into it. And I actually end up using that little remnant of polka dots down in the lower right hand side just to kind of bring that dark blue down to the corner. Okay, uh, my second part of my voiceover kind of disappeared, so I'm going to be doing this for a second time. So if I said something in the first part of my narration that I'm repeating, I apologize. So I'm going ahead and getting these glued down. Now they're on top of, the ones in the lower right are to, on top of the texture paste, so they're a bit of a bear to get glued down. So you'll see me go back to that gray sticker several times and add more glue. Now I'm going to be adding several stickers from the Bella Boulevard Riley sticker sheet that I have, and just a lot of little bits and bobs. I use a lot of smaller pieces to make up my embellishment cluster this time around. Uh, this wooden button with an enamel cover from the Chamel True Stories, and then these puffy stickers from Seven Paper, which is by Studio Calico. And then I'm also going to add some 
they're called bubbles. They're like little silver pearls from Queen and Company and then some evilicious puffy stickers. And so you're just going to watch me do all that. And while I do that, I'll explain how we ended up with Xanthi. Now, I have a miniature schnauzer named Sadie. And if you've watched my videos, you've seen me do layouts about her. And she is a miniature schnauzer, so she needs to get groomed every six to eight weeks. So I had taken her into PetSmart to get groomed. And when I went to pick her up, I was with my housemate and her daughter, whom I refer to as my niece, if you watch my videos. And we just decided to go take a look at the cats, not thinking, oh, we're going to totally go get a cat. Just, oh, you know, Loki has been gone for a week now. And, you know, well, let's go look over at the kitties. And we walk over and my housemate is like, I want a cat. I want a cat so, so bad. I don't not, I don't like not having a cat in the house. So they decide to go in the little adoption room. And from the second they walked in there, Xanthi, who actually, from the outside, basically what it is, is there are like plexiglass windows that you can see the cats in. And then you have to go in through the back where the, where you can see the actual cats and like hold them. So they went in because I have a dog, so I couldn't go in with the dog back there. And from the second they walked in that door, Xanthi was like, you know, purring and, and like batting at them. Like, no, 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 look down here. I'm, I'm your cat right down here. Look at me. This is me. Yes, yes, yes. I am your cat. So we ended up putting in an application for her. And it turns out that the woman who runs this organization knows the person we put down as our uh, oh, sugar, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, you have to ask for, like, a reference. Thank you. Whew. Uh, she knew the person we had listed as our reference person. So it ended up that we ended up getting her later that day, which was great. And she came home, and she kind of just, like, oh, great, this is my house, awesome. I'm super happy here. So that's going to finish off my layout. As I said, lots of bits of bobs, and then a little bit of color shine mist at the end. And then I went ahead and took photos, and I looked at it, and I went, oh, I forgot to add the tags I wanted to add. So that yellow tag off to the left and that pink tag over on the right are from the True Stories collection by Chamel, along with the paper that I used. And I had totally forgotten that I wanted to use those. And just looking at it, I didn't, it wasn't complete. So now I'm complete, and here are some close-ups. Thank you guys so much for listening to me. Flick me a thumbs up if you can, and have a great day, everyone. Bye!